Maypole. Maypole. Goddamn bunch of cutthroats. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, what's up everybody? It's a Toll TV number 424. It's part three in our October Horror Fest for 2023. Guess what? We're watching another horror movie. It's horror. It's all day horror and all night horror. Get your stupid neck out of that belt, you jackass! We're watching yet another film that I grew up on. And tonight we have a special guest who's going to tell us all about the film that we're watching. Let's hand it over to Young Sandwiches. Good afternoon. I was asked by a friend of mine if I could review uh, some sort of a horror movie for him and his little YouTube channel show there. And I figured I'd, I'd do a, a classic that I like myself. It's by Wesley Craven. Came out back in 1977, I believe. The Hills Have Eyes. It's kind of based on a fellow, who, I think it was over in Scotland or something like that. Killed an eight. A lot of people circa circa years ago it's the only horror movie in the world to ever have a sequel or a remake uh, a couple of facts about the movie what I like about the movie well there was a lot of things actually I'm gonna do a couple quotes from the movie it really gets you understanding what the movies about <laughs> one of my favorite parts is when Linwood Linwood yells out what the hell was that what the hell was that that, that was a pretty good quote and Ethel Ethel was having a conversation with, with Big Bob, pretty much telling him he needs to watch his language, but he needs to watch his heart too, because that's what uh, the doctor told him. Watch your language. And you watch your heart too. You know what Dr. Springer said. Big Bob replies with a uh, pretty snazzy comeback for being in such a scary movie. He says, well, he can shove that, he can shove that, uh, he can shove that and the stethoscope too sideways. <laughs> That's what you call some witty humor in a horror movie. Anyway, I hope that you get some followers. I hope I was able to help you achieve this and uh, talk about horror movies and that you, okay? All right. Well, that's great. That's a great description. I can't say much more about it myself other than uh, I fucking love it. It's just gritty and it's dark and it's kind of reminiscent of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Today we went to a horror convention called Monster Expo in Taunton, Massachusetts and we met Michael Berryman. And he signed my Hills Have Eyes DVD for me. In case you weren't sure, he's the guy on the cover. He was in The Devil's Rejects, and I fucking love him in The Devil's Rejects. Don't call him a chicken fucker. Really nice guy. Got to shake his hand. This happened today, folks. The day I'm filming this episode is the day I met Michael Berryman. We met a few other folks, too, but that's uh, another story. So ultimately, this family traveling through the desert goes off the road. They're broken down in the middle of nowhere. No way to contact anybody. And there's a family of cannibals that live in the surrounding hills. Hence, the hills have eyes. And so the cannibals descend upon the family, and the family has to defend themselves. And not everyone survives. Human french fries! Or human fucking french fries! What do you think of that? What do you think of human french fries? If french fries are made of potatoes, then what are human french fries made of? We don't call them potato french fries. Why would we call them human french fries? Legitimate question, folks! Serious question that I would ask Wes Craven were he still with us. So as mentioned, there was a remake of this film, and uh, it was actually really good. It took everything that made this film great and modernized those things for a new generation, a new audience. It's important to retell stories sometimes. So I think it's a great movie! Absolutely check it out. The hills have eyes, everybody. This is what we got stewing tonight for our cannibal dish. We became cannibals ourselves tonight. We got this boiling up. Friends and family playing, everybody. There it is. So there you have it, everybody. The hills have eyes. Don't say we didn't warn you. But you could say we didn't warn you. And you'd be lying, and you'd know it. And I wouldn't give a shit. Fucking tell the TV. Check it out, everybody. Hammer smash face. I love it, everybody. It's a great film. It's a great movie. Definitely check it out. The hills have eyes. And check out the sequel, The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. And check out the remake, The Hills Have Eyes, from 2006, I believe. And check out the sequel to that film, The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, 
like post two thousand six. I don't remember what year that one came out. So with the Hills Have Eyes, you have four movies to choose. Watch them in any order, man. Watch them whatever order you want. Do a crisscross. All right, so I'll tell you what, folks. That's all we have for tonight, everybody. We're all done. We're fucking sick of having eyes, and we're sick of being on the hills. It's all over. The movie's fucking done. Thank you so much for watching this fucking Total TV's October Horror Fest number three in the bag. Next week is the Halloween special. Are you pumped for that? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for cannibalizing me. Thank you for turning me into a cannibal, and this is all I have left of my own femur. It's time to say goodnight, everybody. Say goodnight. Say goodnight and say human french fries. Say goodnight and say frozen french fries. Say goodnight and say that's not my bob. That's not my bob. Stethoscope. Good night. Say goodnight, everybody. Say goodnight. <laughs>